Hey, Jamsi, can you hear me? Oh, you don't have a microphone yet. Hi, good morning, Elba. Can you hear me? Hey. Yes, I can hear you now. How oh, are you? Yeah. I'm good, I'm good. Give me a minute. I'm sorry, sit again. Can you repeat, Jamsi? I didn't quite catch that last sentence. Hey, Jay. Yeah, I'm back. Okay. Oh, you said give me a minute. I was trying to figure out what you said. Uh, and I was asking, I was like, what did you say? I didn't hear you. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I, now, Bruno's not going to be with us today. Uh, he is traveling. Okay. Oh, let me. Do this real quick. I'm trying to copy and paste some of the uh, stuff from last week over to the agenda for today. And check chat. Yeah. Okay, so that's. I have some problem. Okay. My... Okay. Uh, it's too past. Um, I'm sure we'll have people trickling in. Um, okay. But we we can go ahead and, and get started. Um, so let me share. Share, share, share. Okay. You can see the positioning meeting notes, right? Yeah, uh, let me also open the document. It's not opening. Okay. Oh, um, while you're opening up that document, did you all see the Salsa in Toto uh, blog? Oh, uh, no. I had to see that. No, no, I yes. didn't read that. So there's this blog, um, and I'll put it here. I forgot to mention it last week, and so I put it at the end of the notes. Um, that they're trying to release this blog on salsa and in Toto and what it means, et cetera. So if if folks are able to um, you know, review, uh, that, that would be great uh, to get a different set of eyes because the majority of the folks that have reviewed, I believe, are from the in Toto community. Um, okay. uh, I don't recall, yeah. I know Marcella does salsa too. Um, but that, that's pretty much it. So I want some more salsa eyes on this, um, if if possible. Um, I think it's a, a, a great blog. I think the only big concern I had was around uh, the predicates under development uh, section, because this blog read as though they are trying to advocate for software supply chain attribute integrity. Um, versus it just being a, a, just a bullet item. Um, so it, it's, it seemed more like Salsa and software supply chain attribute integrity, um, not in Toto and Salsa. So that was my, my biggest feedback for them is it, this feels like it, it's forced in here. Um, 
So any any other eyes on this would be great, um, just to make sure that I didn't miss something. Um, because I, again, there's not a lot of salsa eyes on this right now. Uh, okay, thank you, Leon, for, for joining. And I'm gonna put the meeting notes here so folks can sign in. So please, please, please sign in. Um, okay. So what we should do today, I'm looking at the timeline. First draft, 124. Okay, yeah. Right? So we need to finish the um, the abstracts today. That, that was our, our goal. So let me put this here, right? Final review by 131. So if, if we can kind of succinctly say, you know, this is the abstract for this particular talk or, um, uh, you know, lab or, or whatnot, then uh, we can start communicating that to the, also, the other salsa leads um, to see what they think. Now, one thing I don't have on here, because I had assumed um, that Mark and, and, and Joshua were working on this, is the salsa 1.0 update, right? We, we don't have a title for that. Um, so I'm going to ask Josh and Mark if they are already working. Yes. Uh, ask. So that's one action item that I've been meaning to, to document. And if I don't write it down, I, I forget. Um, Okay, so we're good with the titles. Um, we just need to focus on the the abstracts. Um, so, so I'm just and, and feel free to to type in here. Uh, again, it's not a one person <laughs> needs to be the the uh, uh, the person coming up yeah. with the abstracts or ti uh, title. Um, but I'm thinking, like, come and join the salsa. Is it called the salsa work group? No, right? What is it called? Because um, uh, it's supply chain integrity working group. So, what is salsa considered? Um, is it's... it a subgroup? Yeah, it can be considered as a subgroup, looks like, yeah. Also, community. Uh, learn. I'm just going off of the bullets that we have. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to recreate the wheel or anything like that. Um, but this, uh, this session is What's also not um, benefits? Um, how to how to um, What's the word that collaborate? That's not the word I'm thinking of. Um, how to participate or how to join the community. Benefits. Um, I feel like there's something else here that we need, like another, another item. Let me see if I can highlight that. So that I don't forget. Um, um benefits latest uh, one dot specification. Okay. Um thoughts on on this abstract, I know there's there's somebody else in here, and thank you. <laughs> um, again, feel free to wordsmith it if you need to. Um, uh, 
thoughts on the any additional thoughts, Jay or, or Leon? And if I'm mispronouncing your name, Leon, um, is it Leon? Leon or Leon? So here, why we mention reacquainted, or it can be acquainted with Sasa. No? Reacquainted. To get familiarized with salsa is fine. Or... Well, yeah, so fine. yeah, so reacquainted is more of like they they know what salsa is, but they haven't um, kept uh, up to date with salsa. So that's what I was trying to convey there. Is you know um, it could be for beginners or people that they know about it, but they just need to kind of kick it up a notch and, and get reintroduced to it, kind of thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and for be for beginners or folks, uh, any other thoughts on on this app on this abstract? Obviously, we're gonna get feedback from the rest of the community, but not sure if we can spice up the abstract in any way, shape, or form. Um, Uh, I think, okay. yeah, this cover good. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Uh, Jay, Leon, Ups. On this abstract, you can you can give it a, an emoji if you want. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. Ah! No, we don't want to do that. No, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I was trying to um, end. I was trying to. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah. So. Okay. The good, bad, and ugly. Um, I know we had some discussions about this. Um, I think, I don't remember, but I believe somebody uh, said that maybe the planning of the transition from version dot one to 1.0 would not be a good question. Um, so I don't, I don't remember the context of that, of the why. But obviously, we would discuss, you know, how organizations got started, their biggest challenge to adoption, um, and you know, was was the journey worth it? Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. That yeah. we can. Yeah, I, I would really like to ask this question <laughs> to the people that are adopting it, right? Because it, it it could mean that they have to significantly change things. Um so um let's see. Uh, as you will see, I'm just gonna do come and learn and, and learn. Yeah, that, that last one, uh, the planning and transition from V1 to, to 1.0, I think uh, that one could uh, provide more, that, that, one, that one could uh, present more questions than answers, man. <laughs> <laughs> because, cause they, I mean, the, the, the routes taken are as much um, open as it is closed. And there's a lot of conversation that might be happening that we don't get the chance to hear. Um, right along with all the stuff that's happening in the open. And the only reason why I say that is because, I mean, you have a, you went from just a, a failed source to now a provenance to now a, you know what I mean? There's all there's like so many breakouts, so many so much transition, so much ebb and flow that to have a panel up there discussing it, you, have to have like everyone who made the leap one way or the other. 
uh, just questions. Why did you do that? And what difference did that make? And what that, that that's a I think you could I think planning for transition from I think that could be a discussion all by itself. Hmm. Maybe maybe that's a a subtopic for the salsa update. Yeah. Ah, what did I do? Okay. Okay, yeah. So good point. Um, introduce a can of worms. <laughs> uh, but I think it's an important topic, right, to touch at least one time in in one of these talks, right? Because people are gonna want to know, like, okay, should I start with version? dot one and then transition to one or if I'm already on version one or I think I'm on dot version dot one right how easy might it be to to transition so I feel like that could be a subtopic um for the salsa 1.0 update I think it's it's definitely relevant for that one thanks for that feedback Jay um so uh, one input would like to add is like, you know, um, maybe we need to also mention where the salsa, uh, like the, uh, where the salsa is positioned in the cyber uh, security frameworks. So we do have application security framework, software supply chain, cyber security framework, um, others like, uh, you know, uh, some complaints um, or meter, meter a drop. So many things are there. So salsa is also there. So where text exactly fit in? Um, so how do we frame? I'm not sure, but just wanted to give a clarity where the software, I mean, uh, salsa, Google salsa, or whatever, and this SSDF will really position. Standards. Would that would that be up here? NAST SSDF. Uh, SSDF. Yeah, but there's more than just SSDF for the NIST standards. Um, there's also Cyber SCRM. Um, so that's why I want to uh, keep it at a higher level of which standards we'll talk about. Um, but yeah. this is what you're referring to. It's this talk, not the Salsa 1.0 update down here, right? Yeah. Uh, and also, we I think we have already uh, mentioned somewhere, like Salsa is not an application security framework. It is actually a software supply chain cyber security framework. Uh, Did you say a yes. Did you say a software supply chain cyber security framework? Was that for yeah. Jumpsy or me? Jump, jumpsy, did you? And am I yeah, I understand. Salsa is a software supply chain cybersecurity framework. That's um. Uh, oh, so um. That's a lot. Um. Uh, God, um. It's definitely it's not uh, like it's not uh, and related with or uh, it may be similar to, but it's uh, the NIST SSD framework is completely different. Uh, but both are uh, NIST SSD F framework and then uh, Salsa both are uh, software supply chain um, cybersecurity framework. I uh, so. I don't know that I would classify Salsa as a security framework. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. know that I would say security framework. Oh, um, that's not what I want. Yeah, Salsa is framework defined framework as. Securing, I think I think it's a I think it's a framework for helping to secure the software supply chain, but I don't know that I would call it a security framework over a compliance framework. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense, yeah. Not that yeah. level. Yeah, yeah I, I would do, agree. And with I that. do consider, and I, I'm I'm one of those purists that mm -hmm. say there's a big difference between security and compliance. 
Yes, yeah. there is. There is very much a big difference. <laughs> well, here it says it's a security framework. Yeah, um, I, 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 I read that. And I'll, and I'll say it again. I, see, yeah. I, I am not that, is, we're not there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're a, uh, a recommended so, framework for securing artifacts. <laughs> that's about it. Or producing mm -hmm. artifacts in a consistent manner that's not tampered with. Or, or, or maybe a standard then. So it, if we need, cannot mention as a kind of framework, then we, we have to mention as like a standard and as a standard. Oh. But I think that I think that in itself, that's not for us to do. Yeah. We're here to try the position. And of course, if you go up to the higher um, supply chain integrity working group, we're talking about maybe merging, merging positioning efforts. All besides the point, um identity is a big key here um the spec itself i think scope wise that that's a that's a lot that's a lot of scope creep going on there it's not a security framework it's a compliance framework um, there's there's a there's nothing in there. I don't so want to say far, there's yeah. nothing in there. The, 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 okay, uh, it's you completely have, for you have maturity levels, right? So, mm -hmm. so there, so there are levels that you have to meet, right? There are mm -hmm. maturity levels, whether you're level one, two, three, or four. Even in meeting maturity levels, the idea that there are maturity levels negates it in a security framework. So, okay, uh, this framework is only applied for any applications or uh, building applications only related to that, right? right? Uh, or any other things like uh, uh, building an infra code and... Um, uh, so if it can be used for like building infrastructure as code, is that what you... Uh, is there any standards or any other frameworks or... Uh, will it apply it uh, for the, the development of the IFP or something? Or it, it can be only applied on the, uh, like, uh, building an application and uh, standards. Uh, it's for an application standard or... So... It, it, in my point of view, it's to build any sort of code, right? Regardless of what that code is, right? It could be a script. It could be an application. It could be oh, the infrastructure as okay. code. Um, that that's my perspective. Um, Jay, Jamsi, do you want to uh, chime in on that? Yeah, one? plus one for that. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. The original intent was for it to be um, a set of requirements that had to be met in order to ensure that your supply chain was compliant enough to safely build or, or safely code or have safely or have safe code practices. That was yeah. the original intent. Yes, yeah. So yes, I think that's that that then uh if, if I understand that correctly from you, Jay, from Leon's question is um, that it is meant for anything code related that you are building, regardless of what you are building, right? Uh, I saying that right? Because yes, you can, yeah. right? Because you can build a bunch of scripts together, right? Mm -hmm. um, to go through the CI CD pipeline, make sure it does all the scanning, make sure it does all the signing, gets deployed in some sort of container image, right? Or it can be an application, a web application. Um, it can, you know, go through this uh, CI pipeline to, you know, um, uh, do scanning for example, infrastructure as code. So anything code related that goes through that CI CD. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can agree with that, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't know if I would. If I would settle on 
stood on it being a security framework. I don't know that I would. Oh no, no 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 that that it was a different question. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so we do have a blog about the trifecta. I'm trying to salsa blog trifecta um, SSDF. I'm trying to find it. Um, well, that didn't help. Um, open this as SSF. Salsa.dev blog. Uh, this one, all about the baseline. Um, it talks about uh, several of uh, uh, you know missed frameworks, right? Um, that salsa kind of helps map to and 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 how the different levels are supposed to map to those different um, uh, framework. So, yeah, the Miss Cybership was absolutely that. So we could use some of this. It probably needs some updating, but we could use this blog as a an example. We also have where is it? Um, there's a spreadsheet in here. Where'd it go? There it is. Uh, it's a, a public Google Doc where we tried to do that exercise. Um, and mapping the different controls, but since the controls are changing, number one, um, it doesn't make sense to do it right now. Uh, and two, we were trying to figure out a way of, and I'm not going to say the word Jay. <laughs> we're we were trying to figure out a way of automating this mapping for us instead of us manually typing this stuff in because that's what we were doing. Um, so we were at, at the very least able to do salsa version 0 0.1 to SSDF version 1.1 and some of the other things that we had plans. Um, but given that the requirements for salsa are changing, we're going to have to revisit this because this is this is old, right? Um, uh, so let me put that in here. No, I keep losing my place. OK, reply. OK, back to abstracts. Um, yeah, I, I think I think that's something that we really do need to iron out I, 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 because of because when we do these talks and, 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 and all that kind of stuff like that, we get up there talking about the security. I have I have issue with a maturity <laughs> model of any sort calling itself a security framework. Yep, because when you have level one, Right. If you if you say we're salsa level one, okay. Well, what so so in the in the maturity model you have a defined. I'm just take I'm just going by the, the the capability maturity model, right? Where you you have one through five, and you you know your, your three is a defined, and and you you know four is managed, five optimal, right? Does because you're so if you are defined in most organizations, you've met the standard, right? To have a defined anything, you met the standard, right? So now, if you're managed, you're a little bit better. And if you're optimal, this is like wishful thinking. But if you're optimal, you're really good, right? None of that means secure. Yeah. Right. That that just means you've met criteria, paperwork, people, process, and procedure. You met the criteria for that level which is what we're saying with salsa you can meet level one two and three level four is still right they move level four off the table hell move level four off the table busted out these these other instances but there's still a maturity model element to it which i still think is great i think a compliance requirement i think a maturity model i think that's excellent because it allows it to be universal across all of these other security frameworks you could take these other security frameworks, apply the controls therein, and applying those controls will help you meet respective salsa levels. I agree, yeah. But to say that salsa is a security framework, 
I think, um, I think diminishes, I think diminishes what what the, the, the viability of salsa. You you're, you're bringing it down to something where if you if you're saying raise up, you want to meet these levels. Well, then you need to find out how the mapping of these security frameworks, how the control of these security frameworks map to meeting the levels in salsa. How do they map to that compliance requirement? Because we all know that compliance just says you have a tire on the back of your car. Doesn't, doesn't matter what size the tire is. You know the meme I'm talking about. It's funny as hell. Yeah. Doesn't matter what size the <laughs> tire is, but the tire on the back of the car means you're compliant. Yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah, so yeah, say is these a security controls map to these levels. That's a different story. Right, that's a better story to tell. But if you say this is a security framework, well, then why would you need the other security frameworks to map to? So, is the recommendation to call it a compliance framework? Either complaint, um, a compliance framework, or a maturity model. I, I, I will call it what it is. It's a maturity model. Yeah, I, I, I also think like maturity model is the right term then, because we also define different levels there. Uh, so in that case, maturity model will be an app name for that. Is it a supply chain? Supply chain security maturity model. I'm even, I'm even okay with that. And I mean, I, 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 but I, I'm, they, they, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get pushed back on that. By the way, somebody's gonna argue that with me. I know <laughs> it already. But then no, this is good. Can. But like I said, good. I have a big, I take issue with calling it a security framework because it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put that in here so I don't forget. Um, so we can certainly bring it up um, and make sure we hash it out before the conference, should any of these topics get accepted. All of them <laughs> yes. get accepted, right? Um, that would be fantastic. Uh, so, but I, I'm, we'll see. Um, okay, so abstract. Um, also, uh, also, we have up there mapping to NIST standards. Oh, um, um, that conference is in uh, oh, Vancouver, right? It is Vancouver. Yeah. What do what do they care? So if it's in Vancouver, and let's say we're talking to people in Canada, what do they care about it's mapping to NIST standards? Mapping to ISO, maybe security maybe. frameworks. Mapping to security frameworks or mapping to ISO, right? Something international based. Okay. Uh, is, is ISO considered a, a framework? Well, ISO 27001 is. Yeah, if we're talking about um, secure supply chain, I'm not, I can't remember which number that is. Hold on a second. And my, and my, uh, my, my monitor is flickering on and off too. So if you can't hear me for whatever reason, uh, you know. Um, I wonder if it's this, but I'm wondering if this is a uh, traditional supply chain. You're looking at 2800, right? Yeah. 2804? I think it yeah. might be. But yeah, well, but you see it says C4. It might be, with ISO, anything is possible. It could be, it could be, uh, yeah, so this is like, like mechanical and stuff too. <laughs> correct. Yeah, no, this is all the, it says weather related terrorists. Um, it, it, this is not the right one. Um, and that, that's why I was like, well, maybe it's not. Um, Let's see. Software. I think uh, 27036 uh, has, there's a part in there about uh, supplier relationships, 27036. Mm. Preview? Oh, types of, I see it. 
So if we, it won't let me zoom in for some reason. Uh, really? Come on. Zoom. Uh, so no. Yeah, I'm wondering if this is not, this is still, yeah, it's not going to let me click on it. I have a feeling that this is still traditional supply chain. Oh yeah, no, no, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that th that this is that this, that this deals with um, uh, supply chain, um, software supply chain uh, types of. I'm, I'm actually pretty sure about that. Uh, in terms of what exactly is covered in it, I mean, what luck? I mean, hell, we think about open source, right? Uh, 800-161 has literally like two controls about open source. Everything else is. Is, is about supply chain, but it's literally like two controls about open sourcing, right? So, so in terms of what's covered in it, I, I'm not, I'm not terribly sure, but I do know it deals with a, uh, with um, software supply chain. Erica, yeah, uh, yeah, I mean specifically, hell, uh, dash three specifically deals with guidelines for hardware, software and um, services, uh, supply chain security. Okay. 27036-3 deals with that. 20, 2600-3-3? 27036-3. Oh. Dash 3. 36-3. Like that? Yep. Let me put ISO because I'm gonna forget <laughs> what that means <laughs> if, if I don't do that. Um, okay. Um, so I think this is a good high level. You know what? What's also is what's not the benefits, right? Um, mapping to. We'll have to do some research for the actual presentation on which security frameworks are relevant for this audience. Thank you, Leanne. Um, I'm not exactly no, sure. Like, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly which it make the requirements, but uh, uh, we can just have a reference on that. So, yeah. Thank you. I believe so. Uh, relating to under development shows actually. So. Okay. Um, something. And the latest one dot specification and how to, I don't want to say join the community. I want to say like participate in the community or, you know, help collaborate, whatever. Um, I still think this is a good start. Uh, for panel discussion. Uh, oh, 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 oh trying to think of a, a good intro for this. I'm, I'm not a wordsmith. Um, experiences for that. This is not proper English. It's also biggest challenges. I don't want to say if the journey was worth it. Um, that's a question that you can ask live, but I don't know that I want to put that in an abstract. <laughs> um, so I feel like there, there has to be a better way um, if the journey was worth it. I, I don't quite 
like that part. But I feel like that kind of gets to the crux of it. Thoughts, questions. Okay. Um, what about the hands on lab slash demo? Uh, um, join us for a live hands on demonstration. The it's also build levels. And how to obtain It's also I don't know if that's what we want to say. Um, A also compliant build with a simple repo. Uh, sample report, sample pipeline will be better. Sample, well, both. Um, or sample supply chain or sample. Um, because, because the idea is, is that um, we would help walk them through, hey, we're going to take this code from this repo sample and take maybe if it's GitHub action, something simple, right, that we have access to um, and take it through that journey, right? But everybody can actually do it on their own. That's my vision. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to, I don't want to say that, um, but that's, that was our intent when we oh, okay. originally Got thought it. about this yeah. is that everybody can bring their laptop if they wanted to. Um, but if they don't have a laptop, that's fine. It would still be demonstrated on the screen. Yeah. Um, but we did want people to actually bring their laptops and get kind of acquainted with how this could work. Um, if it's GitHub Actions, fine. Um, uh, if it's something else, fine. Um, I don't think we've figured out the details yet, right? Uh, <laughs> we still have to figure out how to do that. But I think it would be a, a, a good way of getting people seeing how salsa could work um, with a sample repo or something. Yeah. Um, questions, thoughts on this one? Okay. So there's ketchup, mustard, and relish. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love this title. I feel like this is going to get picked <laughs> just because of the title. <laughs> the title. Mm. Uh, um, supply to open SSF supply chain integrity. Should I also put open SSF? Because not everything is open SSF at this conference, right? Well, no, I mean, hey, so OpenSSF is OpenSSF Day, but the rest of it is just the open source conference. I mean, but 
if we, if this is being presented during the open summit, then you know you can you can say open SSF because that's where we're working on all this stuff in, right? So it it, it would be uh, if if it's during the open summit, it would be good for us to say open SSF with yes. everything that we're doing because that's where we're working on this stuff now. Join the also group. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I don't quite know how to write this, right? I'm guessing this is how we would write it, but um, supply chain integ ah, integrity working group. Um, Is this normally a, abbreviated, the supply chain integrity? I don't think I've ever seen it abbreviated anywhere. Um, supply chain integrity working group? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Yeah. And it just might be me internally, right? Because that's a mouthful <laughs> to, to, to say so. Um, Um, what else goes on hot dogs uh, that people put on hot dogs? Sauerkraut. Uh, I don't put sauerkraut on no damn hot dogs, but that's what usually go chili. <laughs> uh, how, how, how do you a sauerkraut? Uh, I don't know how to spell that. My husband loves it. Uh, but S A U R. Oh, right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Man, oh, that reminds me. Um, I need to put this. Uh, the videos for the salsa specification group are not being posted. The last recording was from November. Oh, sauerkraut. Um, sauerkraut. Okay, I spelled it right. Skip this sauerkraut. <laughs> Working group. Mm. See, this is what I mean. Like, we we need to have like catchy abstracts. I'm not good at this. <laughs> this is where I wish Michelle was on this call. Michelle was really good at the titles. Um, enjoy the uh, group. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, discuss. How S two C two F salsa and ah fresca can help you improve your software supply chain. Security or integrity or something is required, or can um, say that again? Uh, like, uh, do we need to add a sub software uh, supply chain integrity or anything required? No, right? Or, uh, um, no, I think I think this is true. No, no, last, last uh, to the last. Help you improve your software supply chain. Oh, uh, security. Yeah, security or integrity or um, it should be better. Oh, improve your, okay, got it. Uh, yeah. Let me go to the mission page. Hold on, I had it open just a second ago. Uh, oh. Jay, <laughs> is this okay? <laughs> I don't know if it is oh, or not. On. Hold on. I'm keep coming in and out, in and out, in and out. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure if you guys can hear me. Uh, okay, where were we at? I, I was gonna go I, look I, up. I keep got popping in and out here. Um, You're fine. I, I was gonna go look up the mission for SCI. Oh yeah, it is. It is uh, 
And then I just saw this, a pragmatic supply chain security framework. <laughs> so I wasn't sure if, if that also needs to get addressed um, in the mission for supply chain integrity. Well, no, I mean, no, the, this, is, this is the working group's uh, vision is to have a pragmatic okay. supply chain security framework. Okay. The framework can include a maturity model. Yep. Right? So if you have um, S2C2F, you have Fresca, which provides tooling to um, tooling for artifacts. Uh, was it for artifact storage? I can't remember what the camera with Fresca does exactly. I, I knew I knew I knew last week, can't remember now. <laughs> have the compliance, um, the compliance meeting the compliance requirements of or, or the maturity levels of salsa utilizing. I mean, you have all of those. I mean, that's how they all work together, right? Um, and then you have consumption base, and 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 of course, from a producer standpoint, so meeting the maturity levels from a producer standpoint, and then of course, meeting uh, uh meeting because because S two C two F is also a maturity, also is a maturity model, a maturity framework, right? Just happens to have security controls as well. But it's also yeah. maturity based levels one, two, three, and four. Then is it really a security framework then? Right. Like, like I, 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 I say again, it's if we put, if we take uh, secure uh, the supply chain integrity working group to create a security framework, you could create a security framework that encompasses the different levels underneath. Right that encompasses these maturity models, but it's it, it would be a security framework that does it. These are maturity models that provide a way to see where you're at um, implementing the controls from security frameworks. Okay. I said, does um, that, does that even make sense? Just Jesus Christ. It, it, <laughs> I, I think it does, and in, in my mind, I have a picture of like a document and then within that document having like little or a box and within that box having uh, other little boxes. And that's how I'm envisioning it, right? Um, so I, I think it's making sense in my head. Um, I, I'm a visual person, right? So yeah. it, it, it makes sense, I think. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't. I don't think I have issues in what you are saying and how you are saying it. So I think it makes sense. Um, so Jamsi, Leon, it does it make sense to you what Jay is saying? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Yes. Um. Uh, so we had to improve your. Um, uh, trying to know where that thing go. Um, space. Supply chain security. Mm -hmm. Maybe how to standardize your practices and. Yeah. Okay. Um, Improve practices yeah. for chain security. Standardize. Improve and standardize. And it's and already how to improve. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, thank yeah, you. How to improve how to and improve standardize. And standardize software supply chain with S2C2F, Salsa, and Fresca. Yeah. And then obviously the the sub bullets um, uh, aren't lost down here on what we wanted to cover. So these are no, let me make that clear abstract. 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 
Okay. I like this beginning. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. Um, uh, <laughs> Skip the sauerkraut. <laughs> yeah. yeah I like Seriously, I, I, I hate that stuff. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Um, I think it's just because um, uh, I didn't grow up with that kind of palette. My palette is more of the Caribbean palette. It's very, it's either a little spicy or, you know, bland. Um, and so that is a very wasabi tasting, like it's a, like, I don't know, I, I can't quite explain. It's not wasabi, but they like radish and cabbage and it's just not my, my cup of tea. <laughs> it's just, um, so yeah, I, I, I do not like sauerkraut at all. Um, okay. I'm trying to think we have five minutes left. I think we did pretty Good. I think. Uh, can somebody think of something else other than if the journey was worth it? For this abstract. Mm. Okay. Um, and then the update, I mean, I'll have to ask to see if they're they're doing something, but I mean, this could be very simple, you know, come and learn about blah, blah, blah. I think we're, we're pretty good here. Anything outside of the security framework discussion? Um, is there <laughs> another thing that we might wanna bring up? Um, framework labeling in salsa.dev. Revisited. So I'll highlight this so that I remember. Anything else? No? Mm. Okay, so I am I'm also going to put this. I did cover it at the beginning. Uh, please, please, please try to provide comments for that blog. Um, I need more. Yeah. Again, salsa eyes on it. Um, okay. Well, if there's nothing else, um, I will send this out probably tonight um, for people to chime in uh, from the rest of the salsa group. And yeah. I think we've pretty much met our target, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> First Good. draft, 124. Um, <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll see how, how it goes. Okay, thanks folks. Thank you. Talk to you soon, bye. Bye. Yep. Bye. Bye. Bye.